Ukrainian Defense Forces achieve success in Robotyne Novo Prokopivka sector. In the Robotyne Novo Prokopivka sector, the Ukrainian forces have achieved success and are entrenching themselves at the regained positions. Spokesman for the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Pavlo Kovalchuk, said the Defense Forces of Ukraine continue to conduct an offensive operation in the Bakhmut and Melitopol directions, he said. According to Kovalchuk, in the Robotyne Novo Prokopivka sector, the Ukrainian military have achieved success and are entrenching themselves at the regained positions, inflicting fire damage with artillery fire on identified enemy targets and engaging in counter-battery battles. In the Bakhmut sector, the Defence Forces continue to conduct offensive operations south of Bakhmut city. According to the spokesman, the enemy is suffering significant losses in personnel, weapons and military equipment, relocating units and troops, using reserves. At the same time, the Defence Forces of Ukraine continue to hold back the advance of Russian troops in the Avdiivka and Marienka sector. The enemy carried out unsuccessful offensive operations in the district of Marienka Donetsk region. In addition, in the Lyman and Bakhmut sectors, the enemy conducted unsuccessful offensive operations in the area of Novo Yahorivka and north of Klishyivka. Heavy battles are ongoing, he said. A Russian-appointed official, Yevgeny Balitsky, has acknowledged that Moscow's forces have abandoned the Ukrainian village of Robotyne more than a week after Kiev announced its recapture. Yevgeny Balitsky, the top Moscow-installed official, in the Zaporizhia region said in a television interview that the Russian army had withdrawn for what he called tactical reasons. The Russian army abandoned, tactically abandoned this settlement because staying on a bare surface when there is no way to completely dig in doesn't generally make sense. Therefore, the Russian army moved off into the hills, he claimed.